Welcome back, everybody. We just got the Golden Drip Gauntlets. And now we are swole as fuck, boy. Y'all ready for this shit? Y'all who've never seen Ocarina of Time before, y'all ready for this shit? You see this? You see this? Hiya! Oh that's right, God. bitch. <laughs> that's that's right, bitch. Link is fucking Jack now. You know, I you know what I don't understand. Link with the golden gauntlets is like Goku. Why doesn't he just bitch slap Ganondorf so hard? He, you, 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 you know that you know that scene from One Punch Man where the wasp bitch is like monologuing and then Saitama just kind of slaps her and then she immediately impacts a nearby building and just explodes. With the Golden Gauntlets, Link could do that to Ganondorf. Yeah, probably. He I just, return. instead he chooses to play tennis, basically. I have cleaned up the counter and stuff that I used to make breakfast a little bit. Oh yeah. Cause, uh... I, I also find it funny that you get the golden gauntlets and then do this exactly twice, and one of them isn't even mandatory to progress the game. Yeah, it's like, ooh, hidden thing, and it's like the most obvious thing in the world. No, I mean, I mean specifically that the using the golden gauntlets to throw those things is, it <clears throat> happens exactly twice in the game, and this one isn't even mandatory. <clears throat> Wait, hold on. What is this? Oh, you ready for pussy shot? <laughs> Base. <laughs> Welcome, khakis! I am the great fairy of courage! I'm going to enhance your defensive power! She just hands cookies a condom. Oh my god, sorry, I just realized that one of my friends, um, who's a big uh, Destiny Divinity 2 fan, right? Divinity Original 2 fan. Yeah. He just said to me, he managed to build a voice synthesizer for Princess Sada. And I'm yeah. like, wait, can you build a voice synthesizer for any character? And he just replied with a smiley face. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> no, liter literally though, literally though, she just hands you a condom for your for your hearts. And then gives you just an absolute masterclass of a pussy shot right there. <laughs> I can't believe Catapos and Lyra are fucking thirsting over the red prince in the in my chat. No 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 but okay, Catapos, care to tell Kef why you're thirsting over the red prince? Anax, uh, are you still doing the random facts thingy? Occasionally. Um Like, if people do it, I will spit out a random fact I know off the top of my head. Um, I'm going to do that more in a... Amber wants a random fact. Okay, let me see here. Um... Did you know that vinyls specifically like music vinyls are just made out of pvc like yeah, they're, they're they're nothing fancy it is literally it's polyvinyl chloride it is literally the shit that they make like water pipes and shit out of yep oh my god stop stop come back why is there another one Fuck you! 
Light arrow, bitch. It's named vinyl just because that's that's just the name of the polymer. Vinyl chloride is the like the raw chemical. Polyvinyl chloride is the polymerized version. Um So, like, you take the chemical and turn it into a plastic, basically. I love plastic. There's plastic in my blood. <laughs> oh, what was that one, uh... What was that one meme where it was, uh... Fucking... People arguing over about the gender of our skeletons know when they fucking dig us up. They're gonna be going, what the fuck, what the fuck, there's, there's, there's plastic in their bones. There's plastic in their bones, I hate this. What's going on? Also, look at, look at Wisha, what Kanapo said about me. She imparted her fucking brain worms. <laughs> Where is another one? There it is. Haha. -ha. Okay, Rari, piece of shit. Oh, right, there's a hidden door here. It's designed to make you go, wait, what the fuck? And then just stand there looking for it while a, uh, while a wall master grabs you and takes you off to the sex dungeon. Oh, wait, I suppose I need actual light arrows for that. Nah, dude. That hotbox is fucking awesome. You should try it sometime. Ken, it's got good shit here, bruh. <laughs> I can't speak for everyone here, but also I speak for everyone here when I say this is a pro elf racism chat. Elves <laughs> did everything wrong. What? And, no, wait. And oh, uh, it, 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 dep it depends on the setting. Uh, in the Witcher setting, it's not okay to be racist towards elves. In uh, uh, Dragon Age, it's not okay to be racist towards elves, at least during the point in time where the games take place. In Elder Scrolls, oh, abso-fucking-lutely is it okay, okay to I be mean, racist okay, towards okay. elves. No, 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 no. Because it's I, not I even racism it. at that point. It's punching up. I mean, it depends who you play as and in what context, but, like, if you're playing an Argonian character, yeah. Like, yeah. It's... <sighs> Okay, I take it back, Amber. You do it exactly three times. Yeah, but yeah, in Divinity Lore, it's like the elves are just poor bastards. Like, absolutely poor bastards. They, 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 they tried to destroy the world. Yeah, not really. That's just like, ugh, it's, yeah. <laughs> Aha. Uh -huh. <laughs> 
Stop it. Stop it. I mean, if you think about it, especially in fucking Elder Scrolls, like... The goddamn Old Mary Dominion. Well, first of all, they're not only are they just straight up elven supremacists, period. In the second era during the Alliance War, they fucking they 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 were tr they were still trying to do the whole elves are superior, we're taking everything over, but they also allowed the Khajiit into the Dominion specifically because they needed the numbers and the territory to compete with the other two alliances but then come the fourth era they're just fucking oh my god there we go haha -ha. like they remake the old Mary dominion but leave the khajiit out of it and instead just annex them and then they, they they go and just blatant historical revisionism and say that the Khajiit were never part of the original Dominion, even though they were literally the entirety of their most intricate spy networks and all of their assassins, effectively. And, like, like one of the most powerful economic sources for the fucking Old Mary Dominion. But no, they, they just invite the, oh, the Old Mary Dominion is an old alliance between the High Elves and the Wood Elves. It's so the the yeah. fuck it is! <laughs> Fucking bitches. And they're based, they're so racist towards everyone else that they literally want to unmake creation because people that aren't elves are in it. When you think about it, they literally like <laughs> like <laughs> even elves, the, no no why, I just want to say the elves there the elves like the Almer the, the Dominion right they're literally like a um actually a caricature if you know well not exactly pretty a representation of like you know conservatives just on those reality that said I do want to say that dark elves they are clans who run slave busting rings like they're there are few there, I think there's a great house who did that and got into trouble. But I can't which one it was. Uh, it wasn't so much a house as much as it was just there. It, there was an organization called the Twin Lanterns, I believe it was, uh, during the during the like pre second like the second area before the uh, Evanheart Pact was formed, and also during the entirety of the Third Era. Uh, God damn it. Do I have do I have to give up one of my uh, tiny women in a bottle? I do. I'm sad. You wouldn't if you did the big Poe bottle side quest. I'm not doing the big Poe bottle side quest. Four bottles is not worth doing that shit. Also, it never will be. Us, this game is so easy. And I just want to say thank you for the compliment, Jenna, but I oh, can't God. Say I just want to say uh, thank you for the compliment, Caterpillar. Smile. <laughs> Everyone in the schools in race is racist. Yeah, I don't know about that. Like, orcs are pretty cool. Orcs are just generally pretty fucking cool. Oh, wait, do I? I need more. I don't think the orcs have ever been racist against anybody. They're too busy, like, ransacking themselves because they think it's fun to, like, give a shit about no, what other they, people do. They also, because Malakaf, um, some, some of the orcs view Malakaf as being, um, you know, opposed to slavery. So in older schools, you frequently see them running, uh, elder, uh, el yeah. they're at odds with Dark Elves because they run, uh, slave busting rings. No. Ugh. Can't remember. Does that just slide in? Oh nope, that becomes solid. Okay. Oh my God, please. Uh. Oh my God, stop trying to climb it. 
Okay. Maybe you should stop doing the button input for climbing if you didn't want to climb. I'm it. not. <laughs> I run up to it and let go of the stick, and there's like a delay. Okay. Uh. Delay more like window for it to be easier to grab that you should okay. just know about. <laughs> said that. Okay. There we go. Aha. Aha. I have solved the puzzle. Let me. Oh my god. It is a rusty switch, because of course it is. go look at that this is an easy game for babies I <sighs> oh god I think uh, oh shit I, I forgot I forgot that fucking uh, cutscene doesn't have any uh, inputs I was going to make Rudo say something really fucking inappropriate but uh, I was yawning too big also I hate to say this but I have to go because I have to wake up early tomorrow I forgot I have okay. a meeting with someone who wants to offer me a job and I kind of oh, don't yeah. want to miss that yeah do not miss <laughs> that <laughs> yeah it's been lovely have, having me and I'll pick if you want ever I want to do a Jackbox stream that would be fucking oh, yeah. cool yeah. Yeah. Thank you for joining, Larry. Good Take night. care. Sleep Bye -bye. well. Okay, chat. We're gonna go beat the shit out of Ganondorf now. Kill, 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 kill. Da -da 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 -da. Dude, you got fucking bats that are on fucking fire in your goddamn house. Fuck is wrong with you? You are bad at this game. You are bad. Your swords look like shit. I am better than you. Oh. Stop it. Oh my god, stop! Fuck you. God damn it, let me in! Come on, bitch. Come on, bitch. Do it again. Do it again. Do it again. Do it again. Hiya. Man's is dead.
You know, they could have just not had a boss key and it would have made any difference. Yeah. Like, there's literally only one direction you can go. What's up, dude? God, why is there a delay? I, uh, bitch. I like how there was just, a, like, a black armored iron knuckle here, just for some reason. <laughs> ah, sneeze. And shows up literally nowhere else in the game. But there's just one here because reasons. Of course. And the fucking boss key doesn't even open the actual boss chamber. It's the. It's like the fucking next door. Yeah. It's like just there for dramatic effect. Yeah. I mean, I guess to be fair, this room does turn into the boss chamber. Yeah. Which is funny because they designed this specifically so that way if you got knocked down, you had to do the climb of shame to get back up. It would be very funny if it was like fucking Moldworm in Link <laughs> to the Past where if he got knocked down, his health reset. <laughs> All right, here we go, chat. Here we go. It's time. Oh, hey, Gakis. Hey, can you tell him to stop playing the stupid music? It's really loud and my ears hurt. Uh, thanks in advance. Damn, what an epic fucking, uh, organ he's got up here. Kid, I can smell you. I know you're in the room with me. Yeah, like, I, honestly, I could smell you the moment you set foot in the castle. Look, like, I'm not mad at you or anything. Like, I'm not even mad at Zelda. Like, I get it. She, she was, she was raised this way. Like, her, her dad indoctrinated her into a really, really hateful ideology from a young age. And I'm just, look, uh, listen. I just want to herald Hyrule and surrounding lands into a new age of peace and prosperity. One where love matters, anyone can marry whoever they want, within reason, of course, because, like, you know, like, zoophilia and pedophilia are absolutely unacceptable, but, like, y you know what I mean. We don't deal with slippery slopes here. That's just a fallacy. It's bullshit. Universal free healthcare, universal basic income. I just want to make sure that everyone can have equal opportunity to succeed and pursue their life, liberty, and happiness. But li listen, listen, okay? Y'all need to stop. Y'all need to stop. 
it was a fair democratic election. I know it's difficult for some of y'all to understand that there are other people out there who don't think the same as you do. They voted for me because they liked my policies and I worked really hard on campaigning. You know I didn't accept a penny from any major corporations or super PACs? No, it was all self-funded and through donations of my supporters. And you wanna come in here and try and kill me, a political assassination of an elected official, just because you don't like that I am going to actually make people happy. I want you to have more time with your family and friends, to work less hours for more pay, and you want to come in here and assassinate me for it. Fuck you, kid. All of this. Just... Oh. Oh my god, let me do the setup. Fuck! Ah! God damn it! The fucking delay! The silence is me judging you. The silence is you being gay. Yeah, that too. Okay, but like the music the music for this fight is like hype is all shit. Yeah. Also, I found it funny how this orb doesn't get faster the more times it's hit like it does on Phantom Ganon. I feel like it should have been the reverse. Come on, bitch. Come on, bitch. Oh, come on. Oh my god. Oh my god. There we go. It does, it does speed up. You see that it's speeding up based on when you hit it with the tip of your sword. And that, getting it move, to move faster, he can't react to it. That's like what actually lets you do damage. I guess. <laughs> oh god, I don't remember this. Oh, you're, okay. You're supposed to hit it back. Are you? Mm hmm Oh, I see. Oh. I don't I do not remember that. You know, I don't know why you don't remember it? Because you fucking die so fast. <laughs> He is a boss that dies before most people can see one of the cooler attacks. Come on, there we go. It's hammer time, bitch! Come on, come on. Oh, God damn it.
God damn it. <laughs> oh, he's doing it again. Oh my god, let me. Uh, the issue. fucking input to lag. Oh my god. Uh, whatever. Hashtag canceled for misogyny. Time still here. What's up, bitch? Damn, he dead. Well, I guess there's nothing left to do but eat the body. God damn it, I was really hungry too! Fucking earthquakes! Kaki's listening to me, this tower will collapse soon! With his last breath, Ganondorf is trying to crush us in the ruins of the tower! We need to hurry and escape! Please follow me! Hey, bitch. Oh, god, the fucking chug Open the door, honey. Open the door, honey. Open the door, honey. Open the door, honey! Open the door, honey! I like how she starts I... over there so you don't have to see her jump. And then she just fucking levitates. <laughs> That's so fucking funny. Oh, yeah. Open the door, honey!
my god, please. Oh my god, seriously? Come on! Oh my god, I hate these fucking things so much. And you could just hit them with the nut. No. They're very easy kills if you just hit them with the nut. No. Open the door, honey. Open the door, honey! I am standing right next to you. You do not need to wait for me to be literally grabbing your ass. Grab my ass instead. Come here, that bitch. Until Zelda to fucking Sieve. <laughs> Open the door! Open the door! I love just the re-dead standing there to do this specifically. Just the ultimate fuck you move from the devs. Uh, yeah. Oh my god, open the door, Zelda! Oh my god, the chug is so bad. <laughs> yeah, that's like vanilla behavior though. Yeah. Just holy shit. Incredible that it just collapses like in a perfect circle like that. Say what you want about Ganondorf, but, uh, his architecture design is really, really fucking safe for, like, uh, seismic events. It's over! It's finally over! Now we can fuck, right? Zelda, I care. Zelda's dad carelessly building a castle on the fault line <laughs> versus Ganondorf. <laughs> making a sustainable building that's built to fucking withstand and not wreak havoc upon what's left of the nearby environment. <laughs> Surprise, bitch! Universal free health! I am practically immortal, bitch! I can do this! Do you understand how fucking healthy I am? I am so healthy, I can morph! This is advanced HRT, bitch! Fucking square up, you fucking cunt!
Oh, no. Let me get... Oh, wait. Didn't light arrows stun him? I... Maybe? Yes! Oh my god! Oh my god! Game, please! What the fuck? You know, if you bothered to go get the fishing rod, you could distract him. No. Oh, you can stun him with the nut also. But it's funnier to hit him in the face with a light arrow. I think the nut is funnier. If we're being completely honest with ourselves. We're not, though. Man, please. There we go. Kaki is the master sword is here. Hurry up. Come get your shiny thing, you fucking klepto. It also how easy this fight is if yeah. you do the certain like wrong warp to get here as a child. <laughs> Cause he just can't hit you. And because the fucking sticks are ridiculous. God damn it, stop! Ow. Tiny woman in a bottle. The most powerful tool. Honestly? So, like, potions, right? Fucking potions are completely worthless because of the fucking fairies. Yeah. Aside from, like, the green potion, honestly, just because you can get more magic, but, like... When have you ever actually ran out of magic in Amber. a fucking Zelda game? Amber! My bar is literally empty. How? Because I was hitting him with light arrows! That's a skill issue. That's not even a meme this time. That's just unapologetic skill issue. Uh-huh. Yeah, that's right. I could do a fucking Kamehameha, bitch. I could have done this at any point, but I chose not to because I'm a cunt. Oh, also because I have asthma, I forgot. Hey, bitch. Hiya, hiya, hiya. Stabby bitch. Oh no! Universal basic healthcare doesn't cover stabs to the frontal cortex! Aren't you creators of Hyrule? Now open the sealed door and send the evil incarnation of darkness into the void of the evil realm. I'm sure this will not come back to haunt us, because I am absolutely certain that there isn't an entire tribe of people living in there. And I am absolutely certain that several thousand years from now, 
A door from that will be opened and he will escape into our world with the help of a creepy man with weird fish lips. Which instance of this are you even talking about? <laughs> Twilight Princess, because that is like a direct chronological sequel to this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There, There's a lot of Zelda games that are like the same kind of like chronological sequel where <laughs> someone helps Ganondorf get out of curse the situation you, Zelda, he got caught in. Curse you, sages, and fuck you, cookies! Someday when this seal is broken, I will return to Hyrule and I will invoke the ancient homeowners association agreements that you are all bound to and I will repossess all of your houses! I'm a capitalist now! You made me a capitalist! So you know what? I just realized that I have been huffing your pot stench for like about 30 minutes now. And I am now so high that I don't know if what you're seeing, like I, I'm pretty sure that you are so blasted 24 seven that your perception of reality is incomprehensible to normal people, but like, I'm so high, I'm hallucinating that we're just floating up in the sky now. Anyway, thanks for assassinating that bitch. Literally everything he said was true, by the way. Uh, he was fairly elected, and this whole thing was just a seven-year plot to assassinate him and reinstate me as dictator of Hyrule. So and thanks, now kid. You have to be silenced. Now, now, uh, I'm, I'm just gonna have to send you back in time. I, uh, time prison shit and fuck off. Cause like, I mean, if I just kind of left you here in this timeline, I mean, uh, who knows what sort of havoc you could wreak. You are completely uncontrollable. I'm honestly, I'm not even sure why you listen to me all this time. I mean, look at your blank dead plan stare. There is nothing going on behind those eyes. Just constant furled brow staring off into the distance. Anyway, give me back the bong. It's mine. Your hands are sweaty. Like really sweaty. As soon as, as soon as you get back to your own timeline, please take a shower. Like I'm I'm not even joking. Just like just just please bathe. Please. You have you have not bathed once in seven years. Since the, the first time I met you. Anyway, uh fuck off, kid. We're through. Thank you, cookies. Goodbye forever. I'll just see you in hell, you fucking idiot. Thanks <laughs> for setting up a political fucking dynasty. <laughs> we fucking did it, y'all. We fucking we finished I rule the worst place. <laughs> <laughs> we fucking finished Ocarina of Time on stream. I am now one of the f one of the select few streamers to ever actually finish a game start to start to back on stream. Oh god. Feels good, honestly. Ugh. What time is it? God damn, it's not even two yet. 
Yeah, dude. The end of this game is not very long. <laughs> I think most of this game's, like, the length of it from, like, memory just comes from the fact that I was a kid and I could only play a little bit at a time each day. So, uh, yeah. it just felt like way, way longer. <laughs> Back in the era of, hey, you have to wake up at six in the morning to go get abused and yelled at by Catholics for eight hours a day, so you can't play the fucking video games at night. <laughs> I would, I, I would you just couldn't give less of a shit about your homework. I would just spend all of uh, all my time in bed under the covers playing on my Nintendo DS, and then uh, I started bringing it to school. One time, uh, it was what was the name of the game? Oh, Fantasy Star Zero. Uh, I unlock the deep dungeon at the end, which was... I forget the name of it, the Eternal Tower or something like that. But it was basically just a 100 floor, uh, like six rooms per floor, just gauntlet with a boss every 10 floors. And like every 20 floors or so the uh, scenery outside would get higher and higher up so you would start out just kind of like at ground level and you would see kind of trees and mountains around you and then you were up in the clouds so it was just mist and then you were up in the high sky and then uh, you got up higher and then it was just kind of like a sunset and then once you got to the very tip top and beat the final boss uh, you were just like in low orbit around the planet uh, but it took literally eight hours start to finish and you can't stop there's no checkpoints you have to do the whole thing start to finish and if you die uh you're gone <laughs> do it over again that's brutal i fucking uh stayed up all night one night when i had school in the morning to do it but when i got there i was so happy i was barely awake for anything but then again i was barely awake for school regardless I got a I got a weapon that was basically just Darth Maul's lightsaber. The rules. <laughs> the sound, I like the Gorons showing up. Yeah. But, like, Goron sound font noises are great. See ya, assholes. Have fun getting killed in about a thousand years, Rudo. Although, technically speaking, when they sent him there, they, like... Like, immediately, like, if, if the timelines are good, immediately after this, they, like, had him imprisoned inside kind of, like, a weird other realm. And then fucking executed him at what would later be Arbiter's Grounds, so... How would that work out in the timeline, though? Maybe they, like, yanked him out of the evil realm in order to, like, actually kill him for real? Or something do like you, that? I don't know. Do you want to know the secret of the Zelda timeline? They're all bullshit, and they weren't, I... meant, they weren't meant to actually be, like, connected in any way, and then they just decided later on to make them connected, I know. Uh, yeah. <laughs> they did exactly fucking that. Anyway... Kid, my my job here is done. I'm gonna go hide in the Temple of Time's dungeon back beyond this window, and uh, you're going to go fucking wander around looking for me until you die alone and sad in the forest. 
man, Zelda really fucked him over. Oh yeah, it ruined his life. Like, sending him back to this time period where like, no one knows what happened. He's been traumatized from everything he had to do and all the ordeals he went through. No one can relate to him. No one, like, if he tries to talk about it, everyone's just gonna think, oh, you're just a dumb kid making shit up. And so, like, th they, even even her, like, Kid Zelda, he showed up to just to come be with her and be like, hey, please tell me you rec remember. And she doesn't. She probably has, like, prophecies of what happened. But that's about it. So she probably believes him, but like tentatively. Uh. And so he's just like, he gets so fucking fed up with nobody believing that he goes uh, wandering the world looking for Navi, who is the only like living being that knows what happened and that he can actually talk to about. And then it happens again. He saves the world a second time through time bullshit. And no one knows what the fuck went on. Anyway, we fucking did it, y'all. We fucking beat Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. It's done. <sighs> that was awesome. Uh, I need to take a, like an actual break away from my computer for a few minutes. So I'm going to call that lit for now. And we will maybe see about starting something else up. So stay tuned. But anyway, thank you all for being here, both here on stream and everybody watching this on YouTube. This will probably go up in like about a like end of the month into March or so. But this was great. I have, like I said, I've never actually fully completed a game on stream before. So, and Ocarina of Time makes a great first. So, thank you all for coming. I love uh, this game. Yeah, it, it's great. <laughs> for all of the bullshit that I get mad at it for, it's still just amazing game and it holds up really well. Anyway, thank you all for coming and see you next time on Nagasite. Goodbye, chat.